Yo, 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 welcome back, everybody, to another The Golf Club 2019 video. Today we're bringing you some action from the Creighton Championship at Tarwa Golf Club. And as you remember, at the very end of last time, I went through in the settings, changed it to very hard. That is the hardest difficulty you can pick. I'm going to try at least one tournament, see how it goes. Uh, we're playing, I'm pretty sure this is probably in Japan. And this is Isao Aoki's, probably one of his home courses, I'd imagine. He's at 600. We've got a bunch of Americans there right behind him, though. Let's see if we can add another one to the uh, the mix. Very firm. Very firm. Very fast. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. It's always just been firm, firm, fast. Wind speed is low, though. That should help us out. Well, let's head into this event, and let's see what John and Luke have to say. Hello everyone, welcome to the Crichton Championship. My name is Luke Elvey and with me is John McCarthy as we get ready to bring you all of today's action. Hello Luke, glad to be here. Hello to the folks at home. You know what I'm wondering as we kick this round off, Luke, what do you think, uh, you think this next golfer's thinking FedEx Cup at this point in the season? Absolutely, the FedEx Cup playoffs is what everyone wants to qualify for. However, with their wonderful play this season, I'm pretty sure they'll be playing in the playoffs. However, they want to keep their focus as we head towards the pointy end. Thanks a lot, Luke. We'll talk to you later on. Well, there you have it. Talking about me and the FedEx Cup playoffs. We're maybe halfway through the season right now, but I've been owning it. I'm, I'm well first in the rankings. Uh, so I've pretty much earned my spot in the playoff rankings so far. But, hey, why not keep the foot on the gas pedal? See if we can't go over this bunker. And with that, I declare this event has begun. Boom. Good drive. And then about 175 yards away here. Okay. Let's back off. These things are firm as all get out. So we're going to high loft the 7 iron too. It looks like a 7 iron. And the shot's looking pretty good. Yeah. Good shot. This one's about three feet from the cup. Boom, good start. For the birdie. Look at all these buildings, that's cool. And starting today's round off at one under par. Holy crap. 12 under finish right there. Oh. <laughs> feel bad for some of the people that I hadn't changed the, the uh, thing from. Holy cow, Angel Cabrera, 12 under through 18. Tony Jacklin, 10 under. Sandy Lyle, 10 under. Charles Rollerson, 10 under. Rory McIlroy. Wow. These are some good scores. I'm going to have to play hot. Team off on this par three. Very hard. Uh, you don't joke. Let's back off. Five iron. It is downhill. I'm going to high loft it a little. And uh, see if it can't run all the way up to that top tier. I'm going with the seven iron on this one. And this one's heading towards the green. Work. Oh. From 23 feet away. Okay. Well, it's coming right. A little bit more, but it's left in right. Let's see what happens if I... Put it at 23 feet. Let's go back right here. I gotta, I gotta read this putt. This is crazy. Going uphill like this. Looks like I need to go a touch left. So maybe like here. Boom! And the long Needed putt it. will drop. Very nice stroke on that one. What and a putt! Look at the board. Our leader is currently sitting at 12 under par. But you got Miguel on Hill Jimenez, 10 under through 13. Good lord. That, that, that guy was 9 under through 9 down there. On the par 5. Jeez. Nice. This ain't no joke playing on very hard. Well, I think this one's going to find the short grass. Should indeed. From here, about 230 yards to the pin. Uh, I think we do that. Sit it normal. It looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. That's fine. 
And I don't think that was the intended result for that approach shot. Not enough club on that one. Ooh. Ooh nearly dunked around it. Around the bush here. They're going straight at it. All right, 300 through three. Tapping in for Bernie. And he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. There was a guy that was 9 under through 9 last time, I swear, but I think he, he might have gotten a bogey or something. We got a lot. Holy cow, look at this leaderboard. This might be and too much. And off on this par 4. Might be a reachable par 4. Wind slightly in the face, but it is downhill. I'm going for it. And e just get there, get there. Drive here. Oh, yes. Roll back to the hole, why don't you? And that's just inspiring to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Hitting the green off the tee on this par 4. That's hot stuff. Hang. Yes, good eagle. Hot drops for eagle. And after that one, five under for the day. Having to play well. <laughs> it's inspiring, okay, I think. Let's see what the fifth has in store today. Uphill nine feet. Wind slightly in the face. Do I back off a club? I th no, I think I'd leave it here. Maybe high loft that a touch and just kind of hope for the best. That looks like a uh, five iron. Yeah, this one's looking That's good, what I was folks. scared of. And uh, I wish my prediction had come true, uh, but that actually ended up in the rough. These greens are so firm today, you really, like, there's not much you can do. Look at how fast they roll out. And this to save the par. Okay. I can't tell which way this thing's breaking. I think I just hit it straight at it, basically. Okay. And that one Got will drop. It. And that hole has led to uh, him falling down on the leaderboard here. <laughs> I get a par and I have to fall. And moving on to the sixth here. Good lord. Now nah, we can over. We can go over that little fescue right there. And this will go far. Yeah, good call. From 225 yards. I've got to do kind of crazy plays, I feel like. Here's a hybrid shot. Oh, this is definitely heading towards Come the green. Come on back down. Come back down that. Come back down that. And that okay. is some fantastic club work on this par 5 green, hitting it in two. Breaking well right. Downhill, so it's going to break even more. Boom! And the eagle will drop. Two and eagles our now. Leader is currently sitting at 12 under par. Angel Cabrera finishing off his day at 12. Rory McIlroy, a Northern Ireland player right there at 11. England player, 11 as well. And I think that's Scotland, Sandy Lyle, 10. Look at all these people at 10 under par. You literally have to be 10 under par to be on the leaderboard through one round. That's crazy. The next hole we have before us is a par 3. Let's see what happens. No wind. I'm going to back off a club right... Oh. Okay, back off a club. Let's high loft it. And there is a hill kind of back behind it, so hopefully it shouldn't get to that top tier. But I'm hoping I can maybe catch some rough short, if possible. Yeah, it looks like a five iron. That was what I needed. It still went well far. And he's got to be happy with that. And this pot is for birdie. Okay, it's relatively flat. Which way are these things going? This way? Maybe inch it that much. Roll ball. I missed anyways. It was going left. That's fine. And this Take the par. Is four par. 
Wow. And they're seven under par for the round after that hole. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. And next up is a par four, folks. One good thing is I don't see my uh, my rival. <laughs> so at least they're not, like, owning it. Yikes, that one was scary. Didn't mean to get that close over there. Now I've left me a weird shot. That I handled quite well, I'd say. And I think he will like that. Looking like eight feet to the cup here. Okay, come on, make a putt. Looks like I did. And that one drops. Boom. Birdie. I'm giving like real life fist bumps having to play on very hard. Today's score to beat is 12 under par. Look at this Fran Quinn, 12 under through 13. Holy cow. 11 under through 9, Jesper Parnovic? What? And team off on this par 4. That's just stupid. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Okay. And about 160 yards to the pin. 160, uphill, wind in the face. I think I'm just going to play it as is. And here's an 8 iron. I went a and little fast. Towards the green. If I hadn't have been fast with it, I think it would have been good. And this putt is for birdie. Okay. It's coming right the entire time. Not much, but just enough. I missed it right. Oh, that was so, <sighs> so close. Can't really afford to even miss any shots, it feels like, on this course. And tapping with the very hard. The and we have Luke back with us. Hello, Luke. What are you seeing out there from your point of view today? Uh, it's a shame when you see this. Outside the top ten and starting to plummet. Someone might need to call the paramedics. <sighs> Thanks, Luke. We'll chat at the end of the round. Really? Someone might need to call the paramedics? Are you kidding? That... Jesus, at least Jesper Parnovic, wherever the heck he is, he fell off. He was at 11 under through 9, so he's not on the leaderboard anymore. He might be at 10 or something. Holy crap. Fran Quinn, 13 through 14. Now, I've got a lot of making up yeah, to do, apparently. The tenth has in store. I should be able to carry this. Oh, yeah. Okay, about 165 yards to the pin. Okay, let's definitely back off a club. Eight iron. It's uphill, but this is a ridge right here. So I'm going to aim right at the hole because it, it looks like it breaks left up here. I'm going to high loft it a little from here. Going with the eight iron here. It's Go. Looking good. Run. Oh, that was too much high loft. Oh, no. And this one is on the green <sighs> with a lengthy putt ahead. No way. I'm just going to lag this one up there and hope for the best. How much is 32 feet uphill? Nine inches. Oh, no. Shoo hoo hoo. And 13 feet to go here. All right, this might be my tournament. I need to make this if I have any chance, I think. All right. And the power putt will drop. Oof. And after that one, he has gone down in the standings. Jesus, people are just... Very hard might be too much. Up on this par three. Back off a club. Eight iron. Uh, just a touch of high loft. That should be enough. Going with the eight iron. And heading for the green. Just go in somehow. <laughs> I, like, need so right, much crap. On. This one's about eight feet. Okay, breaking right very hard. I need to make this, though. Got it. And that putt will drop for birdie. 
And after that one, nine under is the score. Okay, up to 18th. Okay, moving on to the 12th. I don't like this drive. I'm going to high loft it and hope it doesn't run out. Don't go in the bunker. Okay. Good shot. And nothing wrong with that shot. About 160 yards to the pin here. I think I take this. That might have been too much. Here's an eight iron. This could be good. It's heading for the green here. Settle. Come back. Yeah, I like it. Good and hill. with that, he's on the green. This putt's for birdie. Be flat. Not much break. A little bit to the right. Looks. Yes, it held. That one's uh, right the top. And he will move up on the leaderboard after that hole. I have almost worked my way up. <laughs> To the leaders, good lord, you gotta be at 11 out 16 under. That's ridiculous. Okay, next up is the par 5. Okay, need a good drive here. That one's it's looking like it's heading into the fairway. That's the epitome of good. Wind dead in the face, uphill. There's no way I can get there. Definitely flop shot and something here. Yeah, yeah, sandwich. Guess I should have high lofted. Yeah, about it. ten feet to go here. Got it. And that one goes for birdie. And currently sitting at 11 under par after that one. And he is also tied for eighth on the leaderboard. Jesus cookies. 16 under through 18 holes. Wow. And setting up now on the 14th tee. I'm going to go for it. And it sounded, uh, sounded powerful off the club face. This is going for days. From 130 yards out. Definitely going up to the pitching wedge. I got three in the face, so it's going to help knock it down. Let's even high loft it a little. Yeah. Shot. And he's in the short stuff now. Five feet to go here. For Boom. the birdie. Moving up, and moving up. 12 under for the day after that one. And he is also in a tie for sixth place on the leaderboard. And setting up for the par three hole. Okay. I think I'm going to back off to a nine iron and just hit it normal. Going with the nine iron here. Oh, if I caught the green. And I think you'll like that. And this putt's for birdie. Left the entire way. Need a putt here. I need to make one. Come on. Yes! After that length, my goodness, that was some putt. And uh, just checking his scorecard and several birdies he's made today. And There's it's definitely helping this round of uh, 13 under golf we're seeing. And setting up on the 16th tee. Come on, big drive here. Don't run through the fairway. Boom. That's what I like. I think you'll be happy with that. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I think 
my play here. Hit a five wood full. Hope I catch something right here and it just gives me a great hop. That's like all I can do. That was not a great hop. That was backwards Fantastic. a great hop. Fantastic. And hitting this par five in two is going to open up some real interesting possibilities. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. Let me get a and birdie. This one's for birdie. Jeez, look at this break on this little putt. Got it. And that putt drops. And he's moving on up on the leaderboard after that hole. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Let's see what the 17th has in store. This is just insane. It's back off to a five iron. And hit it normal, I think. Going with the five iron here. This one's looking pretty good. Run. Run ball. Run ball. And now he's going to be digging that putter out. This putt's right around a nine-footer. I need this. This is your biggest putt you've ever hit of your career. And you so missed it. close. Oh, I can't win now. Oh. Let's see how things are shaping up on the leaderboard. Unless I hole out, basically. And after that one, they're sitting at 14 under par. And he's currently wow. tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. Wow. Oh, and well, it's par five. Hold on. Off here on the 18th I don't, hole, don't like the wind in the face. He has only two strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. And from here, about 210 yards to the pin. Maybe I do like the wind in the face. Going with the hybrid here. This is going towards the green here. Come back. Come back. Fantastic work Need on this, this par five, hitting the green in two. Wow, I wish that had fallen off that hill. It's a hard left at the beginning. Comes back right down here, though. I think I just aim a little bit right of the hole. Just get it there. Ooh, oh, that a, that's too bad. And this for the birdie. We get a tie for second. Holy crap. Very hard is no joke. Wow. Luke, his round has come to an end. I think he did pretty good out there myself. Well, there can only be one winner each week, John, and this player was next closest to them. A great result, no doubt. Well, I'm sure you'll agree we saw some pretty good golf today. Thanks for tuning in. Well... Fran Quinn, with a 16 under par round, wins that event. I got a second place with 15 under. Holy crap, very hard is insane. Jesper Parnovic and also Derek Lamely also had 15 under. Lance Tin Broick, solo fifth at 14. Webb Simpson, John Cady at 13. Angel Cabrera and Camilla Vajegas at 12. And Lee Westwood rounding out the top 10 at 11 under par. Just wow. I still cannot get over how crazy that was. Literally beat them in every aspect. The shot a 27 and 29. A 56. If you shoot a 56 anywhere, you're winning. But nope, 55. You had to shoot 55 if you wanted to win. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely insane. But hey, that's all right. I won every category against my... Uh, rival that time. I think I'm going to step back down to hard. I did not like how much I had to think about all that stuff. I like being able to just actually go in and enjoy my golf experience. That was insane at how good they were. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, we're going to jump back too hard. <laughs> Because I want to be able to, like, win. Oh, my goodness. I left it on very hard, and so look at all these players. 
they're coming in with 13, 12, 10. Good lord. I'm going to have to play really well in this next event, too. It's, oh, it's TPC Sawgrass. I love TPC Sawgrass. It's honestly like my dream course. I want to go play TPC Sawgrass at some point in my life. So I am very much looking forward to doing this one. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching me uh, really try to get a win on very hard difficulty settings. I'll catch you guys at the Players' Championship next round. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.